around about approximately seven, six to seven hours of raw footage involving individuals at a graduation party for a, a small online college in Manhattan, New York City, okay? And these individuals were doing all of the typical things that individuals of that age do. Fornication, intoxication, flagellation, uh, I don't even know what the other Asians may be, but they were doing them all. So at the end of the day, this is a uh, garden variety stuff. I see this shit five times a day, even before my breakfast. So this is nothing that would draw my attention. However, for some reasons, which I will disclose uh, for the time when it's appropriate at the right suspenseful moment, the Federal Bureau of Investigation special, two special agents, in fact, uh, visited my office in Beverly Hills, calling my attention to this. Uh, Mr. Bryant, let me explain. Let me be brief about the details of this. Uh, a very unique project that I'm, I'm offering you an exclusive first look opportunity at. Let me break it down for you in the most simplest uh, um, words I can, I, I can conjure. Basically, I got myself <clears throat> months ago, um, one of, I mean, I get dozens a day of these uh, films, specular films uh, made by independent filmmakers and TV producers, pilots and such. Um, that are all varieties of, of independent uh, reality television, so to speak. Within Look at them until the FBI boys got involved. All right, Talladega, Talladega, okay? All right, and do the following things for me, okay? Mr. Brian's going to be calling me all morning, all right? I want you to put him off. I want you to tell him that my, 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 my grandma and my dad, my mother died, my cousins, tell him the whole, the whole family's dead. Now, I need you to go do get that detective, that private eye. We have to figure out from where those FedExes came. Okay, we got we to track down that boy who sent me that email saying that he was the filmmaker, okay? I need to get a meeting with him today because when I talk to Mr. Brian and he's going to be pissed off to high hell, I got to fix this. That was, wasn't, wasn't aware that they'd actually put too many bodies, too many... Well, it turns out what they did was they took cadavers and they put them in there. They were the same age and, and racial composition. They put damn clothes on them and the whole nine yards and then they saw that fire. They actually watched the damn fire from the cover of the woods but suffice it to say that the whole thing was a scam sham flim flam to the man and i don't know why they did it except made me sell some advertising on a television show because i i certainly know how to tell us i can sell a tv show so i i sold snooki for mtv i you don't need no trick or, or device or gimmick but i guess these boys and girls did they thought they did so anyway it ain't no here nor there but at this time what we need to do is i need to speak with that filmmaker right away because it looks like what I found out was these boys and girls are all alive and they're in some island sitting there drinking pina coladas and enjoying the sun um, and laughing all the way to the bank in the Cayman Islands, I guess. Because it turns out not only are they getting the money from this TV show deal that I cut for them unknowingly, thinking that I was cutting it for the blind trust established for the families that were remaining, it turns out that they were controlling it the whole time. All, even, that, even the charities were false. Everything was bullshit. Yeah, basically, I mean, I got my 10%, so, I mean, I was compensated. But the fact is that those millions and millions of dollars were flowing down to the south in one of these little virgin islands where they were all sitting there in a house together where it turns out, from my source, that they had filmed all of that as well. So, while it is a bit of a pickle we find ourselves in, if I do work the angles right, I do think that I can get a second season from NBC Universal Comcast, yeah. So uh, apparently they filmed everything that went down in those islands. And it was one of them, uh, one of them girls that, uh, one of those, uh, the girl that, that did, well, she wasn't getting along with anybody uh, during the, the actual party. And um, you see, the way this whole thing went down is, um, besides the heat I was getting from the FBI, because they thought I was behind the whole damn thing. Of course, I had nothing to do with it. All I did was got the footage, and I looked at it, and then I tried to sell it to Comcast, and we made a deal. And that was silly. I mean, I, I, I think I watched four minutes of that damn footage. I watched that trailer that 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 they put together, and, I, and then I sold the damn thing to, to, to Robert Bryan, and that was it. I mean, literally, we went duck hunting, and I sold them while we were duck hunting. <sighs> Turns out that right after the whole thing blew up, and, you know, it was getting really big in Europe, and it was getting ready for this uh, American debut, well, there was something leaked to the uh, press. It was a piece of footage, like an, out, an outtake, and, 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 and it was all these, these kids at the party, and they were all talking different. And then at the end of this footage, they actually are talking about the word movie comes up, like they're actors or something. They actually talk about making a movie. So, so you put that next to all this footage, and you realize that these kids aren't graduating from no college. These kids are actors, professional actors. That's why I was so damn convincing. 
they got some talent, I'll, t- I'll admit, but, you know, I guess they don't realize it's a felony to take it this far. I mean, fiction is one thing, and artistic license is another, but this that's in the artistic license, uh, they were speeding, and they were going 200 miles per hour, and then going into jail. I, 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 I know about law, but maybe it's illegal, damn it, I don't even know. They got this paranormal activity, most of the most powerful little film ever made, and, you know, they want you to think it's real, and you know, this whole reality is fit. I, look, I ain't in it for that. I'm in it for the 10%. And I just got one thing to say. There's a one silver lining to all of all this is I get a hold of that filmmaker and I get him to sign for these next seasons. I get the season of them down and all the fractured relationships and strained reliances and survivor-like uh, uh, coincidences and all these uh, things and dramas and conflicts that I'm sure that occurred with some probably very uh, favorable lighting conditions in the uh, southern hemisphere where they, I believe they're located right now. So we got a hold of that, and we also have an option for that third season, which I think would follow their trials, because obviously there's a mastermind. We just have to identify who the mastermind is. Well, obviously one of the, 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 the people that are involved. I mean, one of those actors must have been the director, producer, if you will. But I do think I do have a line on the man who I don't think was in the party, who actually controlled the cameras remotely from uh, some type of studio and then did the editing, and he was the one that was sending them to me. I guess he knew I'd buy it. And he knew about my relationship with you. He knew we both came from the same parish in Louisiana, the whole damn thing. So I think these were set up, the whole thing, the whole, the whole nine yards. And look, I got, I got, I got moving boxes surrounded me because I, I'm, you know, I, I'm out of this town. I made enough money off this deal. I can go retire and just sit on the bayou and eat my crawfish. And I'm happy doing that. And I got my hounds and I'll be fine. But I got to set this right. And the way I set it right is this. I find that filmmaker. I find out what the hell he's doing, what he was thinking. And when I find that filmmaker and find out what the hell he was thinking, I find out if they were really trying to do something wrong here or if it just was something that just got out of control. I don't know yet, but all I know is, and I guess they don't really really understand the lives and the business and the bottom line that they're going to affect. They also may not realize the millions and millions of dollars we're going to make from all this. But again, there may be some moral and legal issues that uh, we may have to deal with that supersede the uh, profitability uh, uh, perspective. So uh, to summarize... We need to get a hold of that filmmaker. Uh, we need to control the press on this and to explain to them that we had no knowledge of this being fictional. We thought that these uh, young boys and girls were dead and, and in fact, uh, that the whole effort we made to encapsulate the footage of the last party, the, the, the last hours of their young lives, was to give it a, a poetic justice, to try to find in a tragedy some source of, uh, of, of happiness, uh, and also for the surviving families who would be deprived of a youngster who would have been uh, depleting the family of uh, part of their income, because inevitably uh, 80% of these graduates return home without a job and go back to their room that they've occupied since they were two years old, uh, we will be saved them that expense and supplemented that with the income derived from the rights exposure and exploitation from the monetization of the amortization from the terrestrialization of the
Yes or no? Well, I definitely want to finish the tequila. <laughs> You know something will make you feel better? What? Come to pass. I'll think about it. Ah. About it. I'm thinking about thinking it. Thinking about it? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the Eiffel Tower, dinner, all the stupid fucking museums you want to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't even spell that. I can spell it. I can't spell it. I pretend not to spell it because people think I'm too smart. Smart enough to come with me. I got a bag here for the party anyway. Tell no way. Don't fucking tell your parents. <laughs> they hate me. So this idea, say listen. I you can do whatever you want, yeah, I don't care. And so as long as you get a signal. And maybe you should have a couple signals because you're also doing that to the car, yeah, remember? So do a couple signals, like okay. as if lots of winks, lots of the you know, things. Okay. Yeah. There you go, I love it. I love it. That's excellent. Alright, I'll do it to another direction. Okay, good. Excellent. I like it. Okay, good. Excellent. And one more, and then we'll do you. All right, three, two, one. Okay. Good. Be like, be like, be like three, five. What? You're putting your hand up. Up or down? Up or down? Let me see on this side. On this side. On this side, like right here. Up or down? Okay, good. Be like, you know, nod. Okay, call me. My people get to do people? Yeah, okay. We'll do lunch. Okay, good. All right, let's see you. All right. Uh, let's, we'll do lunch. Uh, you, hold it, you hold it for her, and let's get you in, a, let's get you in front of the wall. The, 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 I mean, that door, because I want another background. Okay, so ready? You're, I, you're, giving, you're giving my shoulder the signs. I mean, uh, am I doing that five minutes? No, no, no. You're, you're probably being like, being like, you don't have to do all the shit he did, but more just like, Like that, you know. <laughs> it's just yeah. shit, like in nonverbal. Like, oh yeah, nonverbal. Yeah. Nonverbal way to set up guys yeah. having a rendezvous. <laughs> right. and, and action, just crying. It, or look at least you're, like your shoulders are moving and they're crying. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Yeah. You know, it was all so sudden. I just. You can turn around now. You were talking about meeting my parents like an hour ago. Like, what? It's just a combination of things. I, I had way too much to drink. She, so, she, she came after me. I, I was thrown off guard. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to handle the situation. Turn around, Jay. I can't. I can't even look at you anymore. What? I can't oh. even. I'm sorry. Come on. We've had four years. This is one slip up. It's. It's just, I think I had something earlier. There's something in my drink. Is there's? I'm so sorry. I just. Are you, are you serious? There's something in your drink. Babe, come on. We four years. This is one. One this hour. Time. One hour ago, you were sitting there telling me about how what we're doing, like next year, and meeting my parents, and then, twenty minutes later. What do you... I don't know what happened. I, I feel awful. You can't even feel any more horrible than I already am. I'm... Jay, say so you arranged this. You had her come here. You had this set up from the beginning. Oh, I did? No, no. You're accusing him. Oh. You're like, you, you, I know why she's here. You had it set up. This was all planned. You're going crazy. You can't know what to think. Um, 
Wait, what was it set up? Her, her kind of like, all you guys were invited separately. All, not everyone, you guys all, all know each other. You have a couple, couple, couples, couples, couples. It's something I'm handling in the voiceover. But you guys are all not connected. So every, she, they're surprised when they meet. So okay. you're like, you know, you had her, you, did you arrange for her to have her here? Just to make me feel comfortable? Did you arrange to have her here to make me uncomfortable? No, don't say that. Why yeah, would you do that? I mean, that's, how that's the fuck stupid. did that just happen? How did she just I end up that, here? This, this is the first time this has ever happened. We all got those letters. You how can I believe that? How can I believe that that's the first time? She did not say, she said that you guys have been seeing each other for a year. Like, she's how can crazy. you? She, obviously, she's all out, she's out of her she head. She said that you guys have been dating for year. a year. We haven't been, nothing has happened. She's crazy. She said that you were going to dump me tonight. She's full of shit. That's... You know that wouldn't happen. Like, I'm just gonna throw four, four years away like I'm, that? Are you serious? I don't know. I, I, can believe, I can't believe anything you're telling me. I don't know if I should believe... I've known her since middle school. How can I you just think that all of a sudden out of nowhere she'd be lying years. to me? We've been best friends. We've been going out for four years. We've been together. We've been an uh, item. I can't... I can't do what? I can't do this. Are you ending this? It wasn't gonna work from the beginning. It. No, because I'm not Indian. That's what we're getting back to. It's not that. It's not just that. It's everything. I, how can I forgive this now? How can I forgive you doing that? It, it, with me downstairs? Like, do you really have that little respect for me that I'm sitting there downstairs, like thinking in my head, talking to Naveen about how I'm gonna tell my parents about you? And like fighting with my parents all the time so that you can go upstairs and fuck another girl when I'm downstairs. That's not what happened, you know it. That's... What do you mean? That's exactly what happened. She came on to me, all we did was make out. We we didn't fuck at all. I it was I don't know what the hell happened there. I don't even know what else to say. Thirty seconds to wrap up. I can't. I love you. I love you so much, but I can't. So this is it. All right, whatever for you. Really good. What do you guys want to do? One more or not? Of that type of thing, I loved it. Great breakup. <coughs> Another one or not? You tell me. I don't know what you think. I, I loved it, but I'm always, I'll do another one for an actor who wants another one. If not, I'll move on. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's one vote. Uh, no peer pressure. What do you want to do? And action. Fuck. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Whispers like this. Stage whispers. Yeah, yeah. Are you fucking yeah, kidding me? I can't even yeah. fit with her fucking Get Barbie off the princess dress. You're such a fucking. I know, uh, come on. We're gonna deal with you. Yeah, all the it's always a fucking right issue. Jesus Christ. One second. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Okay, hold up, I'm discuss, on the phone. Discuss plans. You know, that won't work. But talk that's about, not even gonna work. Shh. Why are we gonna fucking seven? Come minutes? back, come back, because we're just gonna keep keep doing it, keep doing it. We're gonna do another minute of this, and then we're done. Say things like, right? Uh, you know, out the window, out the window. It's not, you know, you know the, bush, the bushes will break or fall. The bushes will break or fall. No, right? Oh, no, start. I was talking. I was talking. I was talking. Ready? Action. You gotta go out the window. You're fucking kidding there's, there's me. There's like a pillar. Fucking break my legs. legs. You'll be fine. It's not that. Oh it's my first god. Floor. I can meet someone. It's like your right. Hold no. on. One sec. Shh. Tell, tell her you're. Right, how about this? One second, how about this? Be like, be like, tell her you're, a, you're having a diabetic seizure. Like, I want. Yeah, ready? And uh, and action. Oh my god. Come on. You gotta get in there. Pat, I'm sorry. You gotta do it. How about you fucking tell her you just had a seizure? I can't move with you. Come on. I, I don't know. I'm but, fucking in the closet. There's I'm having an epileptic seizure. <laughs> just give me one second. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm on the phone. Shh. I'm sorry. Okay. So now we're gonna talk about the father dying. The father dying. It's like you're coordinating. Like they listen. Your father just had. No, no. Your father just had a heart attack. Massive heart attack. All right, my father's had a heart attack. No, no, you're not telling her. You're telling her the plan. Like, Let's just say that, my, that you're consoling your father had a massive heart attack. Just, I'm just trying to create like more, more. I want to jump cut these ideas. Yeah. I want to. Someone's sleeping there? I hope not. That's fucked up. I just killed We found Brittany. That would be, yeah, yeah. I go, right? Just come on. A couple more ideas. I just want to jump cut these in. What the fuck?
Yeah. You now remember, Pickering you are going back and forth with ideas. Let's, um, you know, oh, whatever yeah, it is, yeah. and just like one after the other. No, 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 no. Let's, um, yo, we could start a fire. Like, do, no, no, let's do, a, <laughs> do anything. Just, you're just coming up with dumb shit. It's comedy. Ready? Three, two, one, and action. I, I, I lost know. something. I was I hoping to find some jewelry stupid. or something. Say your fucking no, dad died. I thought oh my God, you can't say that. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh my God, I know. That's terrible. All right. There's some, I don't know. We had clean stuff. I don't know. I wasn't prepared to be able to fucking hide. I'm not hiding with the fucking dad. I don't know. All right. You found all the little princess dresses in there? Come on. More panic. Oh, Last thing. One second. Yeah. I'm on right, the phone. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Come on. Just one second. We're good. We're good. We're good. Shh. Now you get out there because right. this is go. Now you're getting out to car. To car. What the fuck are you doing? Where's Jay? Where's Jay? She's killing us. Oh, I need it. Right. And action. Fuck. Knock, knock, knock. Come on. You got it. Oh, my God. Right. Whispers like this. Stage whispers. Yeah, yeah. Are you fucking yeah, kidding me? I can't even get that with her fucking Barbie outfit. Give the princess dresses. You're such a that. fucking idiot. I know, oh, come on. We're going to deal for you. Yeah, all the it's always a fucking right now, issue. Though. Jesus Christ. Christ. One second. Oh my god. I can't even do Hold up, I'm on the phone. Discuss plans. No, that won't work. That's not even going to work. Why are you in a fucking seven? Come back, come back, because we're going to keep keep doing it, keep doing it. We're going to do another minute of this, and then we're done. Say things like, Ray, uh, you know, out the window, out the window. It's not, you know, no, the, bush, the bushes will break or fall. The bushes will break or fall. Are you fucking kidding me? No, Ray, no, I was talking. I was talking. I was talking. Ready? Action. You got to go out the window. You're fucking kidding me. There's like a bush. I'm going to fucking break my leg. You're going to be fine. It's not the oh first floor. Oh, my God. I fucking need to. Jesus Christ. Hold on. One sec. Shh. Tell her, Ray, how about this? One second. How about this? Billy, Billy, tell her you're having a diabetic seizure. Alright, I'm a little freaked out doing this in a seven-year-old girl's room <laughs> surrounded by princesses. Really? I actually found it to be quite romantic. Yeah, okay, just a little bit. A little bit. You take me to the nicest places, obviously, so... <laughs> yeah, you know, I try. I do what I can. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. Now I'm getting a nice wide shot. Good, yeah, another shot. That's good. Let me just, just like, yeah, like on her cheek. Her cheek is good. That's good. Okay, good. All right, now let's do the other thing. Like I said, okay, hold on here. I'm just going to do that. All right, ready? And action. Fuck. Knock, knock, knock. Come on, you got to get it. Oh, my God. Whispers like this. Stage whispers. Yeah, there. Are you fucking yeah, kidding me? I can't even get that with her fucking Barbie outfit. Give the princess dresses. You're such a fucking I don't know, come on. We're going to deal for you. you all the fun. It's always a fucking issue. Jesus Christ. One second. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Okay. Hold up, discuss, I'm on the phone. Discuss plans. You know, that won't work. Yeah. That's not even going to work. Shh. Why are we in a fucking seven minutes? Come back, come back, because we're going to keep keep doing it. Keep doing it. We're going to do another minute of this, and then we're done. Say things like, Ray, uh, you know, out the window, out the window. It's not, you know, no, the, bush, the bushes will break or fall. The bushes will break or fall. Are you fucking kidding me? No, Ray, I was talking. I was talking. I was talking. Ready? Action. You gotta go out the window. Oh, you're fucking kidding there's, me. There's like a bullet. You're fucking breaking my legs. You'll be fine. It's not the oh first floor. Oh my god, I fucking need to come out of this fucking right. Shh. Hold up. One sec. Shh. Tell her you're right. How about this? Hey. Uh, yeah, it's like if you think I'm gonna be one of those girls who's gonna wait around for a guy, you have to be fucking kidding me. I have so many options, which I'm not throwing it in your face, but I'm not fucking doing this anymore if I'm not gonna get what I want. Which I, what I want is you, but I'm. If that's not an option, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go live my life, and it's probably what I should do anyway. Stop. You know that's an option. I'm gonna take care of this tonight. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's gonna be fine. You've been saying that for clear. so long. Oh my god. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm taking care of this. There's nothing to worry about. It's over and done. Oh my god. Keep doing that because I'm putting this here while I get her there. Okay, and then I'm gonna see you guys jump up. Three, two, one. Holy shit. Yeah, one second, I'm on the phone. fucking got for being such an idiot. I'm coming, just one second. Why is the door locked? What? I'm on the phone. Perfect, stop there. Listen, 
I'm really sorry about earlier. You just caught me off guard. I didn't know you were going to be here. Well, I obviously didn't know you were going to be here either. I don't, I don't know why any of us are here, so... I guess it was fate that you were supposed to be here and I was supposed to be here. And you should tell her. Or I'm not doing this anymore. You know, I'm, I'm really sorry about this. It, it all is bullshit. It, this should have been taken care of a long time ago. But finally, the culmination. We just graduated today. It's, it is time. I'm going to take care of this tonight. Bottom line, cut and dry. But do you mean it? That's the problem. It's like, I, I have nothing except for you, which I don't even know if there is a you holding me back from doing everything I've ever wanted to do. So you need to be fair with me and you need to make a decision about what you want, what you want to do. Otherwise, I'm leaving. I know. And like I said, I'm I'm taking care of it. Tonight is the night. And... Hey, I'm really sorry about earlier. You just called me by surprise. I didn't know you were going to be here. Well, I didn't, I didn't know you were going to be here either. But, you know, we didn't even know why we were supposed to be here. So, obviously, there was a reason for us to to be together. Yeah, you know, maybe it was fate, you know, just bringing us both together here. And, you know, now that I've had a little time to think about it, it's... I'll deal with it. I'll, I'll take care of it tonight, for sure. You, you always say that, though. It's just... It's just the same thing over and over again, and I keep I keep losing this battle. Yeah, but tonight's the culmination of everything. You know, we, we just graduated, now we are all going our separate ways, so this is but, the perfect time to end it. Cut and clear. I, it, this has been going on for too long, and it, it is it's bullshit on my part. Well, that's the first time you've ever said that, so. I know. I'm really sorry about that too, and I'm gonna make this right. I, I mean, the thing is, I'm just you know, if if you don't want to do this for real, I, I think. I think it's only fair to me for you to finally tell me that, and then I can move on and live my life and do what I want to do. I'm, I'm debating holding myself back for you. So, I think you just need to, to be fair with me. I think I deserve that at this point. You're right, you absolutely do. I'm, I'm breaking it off, cut and cold, and we'll figure out what's going on. So what are you thinking, though? What are you thinking for the future? What are you planning now? Maybe we should discuss this. We, we should discuss this. It's, it, it needs to be discussed. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing? No thoughts? It, it's a matter of if I'm going to involve you or not. And whether you want to be involved or not. Oh my God. Where's my jacket? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, I'm not dealing with One this second. Right Perfect cut. That's perfect. We're gonna do it one more time. I want you guys to have more of a whispers while she's there. Like, okay. shit, what are you gonna say? I want more comedy at that moment. Okay, it's not just panicking. It's like, what? No, we're just, saying, no, we're just talking. No, you hide. No, I'm not hiding. You know, it's back and forth like that. Other than that, it was great. Other than that, it was great. All right. Action. Jonah. Hold up one second. I'm on the phone. Hey, Jonah. What? Hey, Jonah. What? What are you doing? One second, I'm on the phone. Why can't you open the door for that? What? Jeez, I'm on the phone. What are you doing? Uh, All right, and you're, you're pissed. You just opened the door. So I, I saw her. Yeah, and then yeah. And two and one, go. Actually, I gotta go this way for you. Actually, I can't because I got that light. So you have to go out this way on me. Am I walking? Yeah, you're gonna walk okay. through there. Okay, okay now g give me a second, right? And action. All right, good. Now you stop. Don't move anything. Him in bed. I'm not, I think you'd be a little more either I don't know upset or perplexed or fucked up or something. So it's your best friend and and your boyfriend. Okay, and we got one last shot on the thing. I mean, you're, so you're stunned. Three, two, and that's much better. I like that. Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, hold on. 
Alright, hey, that's very good. Okay, I am oh, done. Sorry. That's good. No, I really did. Oh no, God, now she's lost it. Don't do it. She really got it there at the end. She got it at the end. I said, I said, she got it at the end. Yeah, because it was nailed. Three, two, one, go. Shh, let's be quiet down there. Thanks. Okay. Okay, good. Done. Really want to just capture. I had no intention for anybody to get hurt. I just found out about it, which is why I'm here right now. You know, I found out, you know, that there was a tragedy. I had nothing to do with, um, uh, people are really sick of reality TV, and this is, this is the realest we're gonna get. I thought in America would have some interest in these random people having a drunken night or whatever. Like, Absolutely, America loves that stuff. Bring reality to reality television. I was just set on doing something great, something that people have never really seen before, something really done. They're just, they're just exploiting what reality actually is. The reality. And it wasn't our intention to for anybody to get hurt and trying to do anything uh, to harm anyone. It wasn't our intention to. He went about it in a way, I guess it would seem irresponsible. Excuse me. Filming a, an actual um, party. We're gonna film um, a live setting party. So you got permission from everyone? Not entirely. Okay. Nobody necessarily needed to know about it. I mean, I haven't done anything. Actually, you, you admit that you installed the cameras. Uh, give that same. Okay, so you've done that. You admit that you did the editing. Yeah, I edited the film. Tell Ramya, I mean, that credit card was your girlfriend's that was at the Ritz. Your own girlfriend. Just evidence. To me, it's horrible evidence of a horrible tragedy. Evidence of what? An accident, perhaps of a conspiracy, perhaps of a homicide, perhaps of a suicide. I don't know. There you're filming. And the whole time, you weren't aware of the fact that it was breaking that next day, that there was the fire, and you weren't aware about any of that. I mean, you literally... I had no idea about that. It was... does not make sense. <laughs> You mean you didn't talk to your girl? You didn't want to talk to your girlfriend after that party? I mean, you thought you she, no, the way she times. had it, the way she had it, the way she had it set up was she wanted me to stay in the hotel room and she wanted me to edit the film. And obviously, she sounds like a, I'm no offense, a kind of controlling person. Um, what what did she want? People do crazy things every day. What was her vision? What did she tell you how to edit, or were you free to do whatever you want? She didn't tell me how to edit. She didn't tell me how to do anything. She just wanted me to edit bits and pieces of the film and send them out to the press um, every week, every couple weeks or so. It wasn't anything. It was perfectly harmless. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't doing anything wrong. She rented me a room. Um, the essence of what it's like uh, to for, for, to uh, you know be you know, head cost on of adulthood and responsibility. Whatever it was, you know, I just wanted. I really just wanted. I wanted something that we could believe in. Something that we could actually look at as true to being 22, 21, whatever it is, and graduating and being shown what our lives are supposed to be like. I wanted to show something to the public. And I think we got that. I mean, I'm sorry that people were hurt. I'm sorry that, you know, f you know, families are uh, destroyed or anything. You know, it wasn't my intention at all. My intention was just to make art and to make a really nice piece of film. Well, um, you know, you may have gotten that and you may have gotten your career, which is probably the whole, I mean, idea behind what you did. I mean, it was it your idea to do this or was it your girlfriend's? Who's, whose idea was it to even have this type of film, if you want to call it, that happen? I mean, I really don't think it deserves to be called a film, but whatever. What do you think? Who was it? Your idea or hers? I mean, whose idea was it? Because to me, it sounds a little macabre. I mean, forget the deaths. Just this, I mean, I guess I can't separate it from the deaths, but... Tell me whose idea it was and, and from where it came from. I mean, you're a filmmaker. It must have been your idea then. Or was it not? I mean, did she bankroll it? Or was it... I mean, I need to know who's responsible for this. Because that is... I, I, if, if they died, I need to know why. I mean, maybe perhaps she arranged for them to be killed to make it... I'll put this on the map. No all one would really right, care right. about this. So you, know, you may be innocent. I, I, I'm hearing that. But it's possible that she was manipulating you. Do you see that part? That she could have been playing you the whole time? I mean, you sure this woman loves you? I mean, what, how solid is this relationship in your mind now that you look back at this, these facts? I mean, I've been dating for two years. I was dating for two years. Two years is nothing. I mean, you're just a kid. You don't even know. Two years is okay. a breath. But you really think, I mean, you guys playing married, getting married? I mean, her, her father is, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, not here, exactly. Man. I'm coming uh, here just clear my name and just really just. Sure, but I need know, to understand. You I understand? Can. I don't appreciate, you know, uh, being interrogated. I just came here to just help out as much as I can. Uh, you, you, you realize that even if you had nothing to do with the fire, the fact that you filmed these people, which, by the way, three of these people did not pass away. They left the party early and whatever tragedy, either intentional or not, they fell. There's other people that there's three survivors. Just them. You're, you're looking at civil liability for, you know, who knows? I mean, whatever money you make. So that, that, that's a side issue. But, but I just want you to understand that you're telling me nothing to do with the fire. 
but the, but the death of these people is what enabled your work of art, which I'll give it to you. It is a work of art attempt to be a work. Of, it gave you that context. I mean, Robert, what is it? Roger Ebert it gave you four stars, but said it was. I think it was the quote. It was very convenient that the end, the the, the fire would be such a perfect ending to what was an honorable intention. I think he said uh, in, in terms of your. your I had idea. no idea there was going to be a fire. Let's just. Put that you had no idea that death would be the punctuation mark at the end of the sentence. That okay. was not. Yeah, it was not. Right. What it was, it was supposed to be the party ends and kids wake up and they have no idea what to do next. Okay. Next morning, they have no idea what's going on, and that was the beauty about it. Was it was it was they didn't know. It was uh, uncertainty. You know, I think that was what I was going for. And um, like a French New Wave kind of film, you're just going to like let it like kind of dangle at the end with, with where they go and like, yeah, yeah, okay, I think I that's, that's what I was looking for, right? Well, I've never seen any French New Wave, so I, I, I'm not you know really interested in that, and I'm really kind of interested in how it seems to me that there's a huge, huge logical connection between the fact that this party was not what it seemed to be. It wasn't a party. It was a manipulated event by your girlfriend. It was, it was a party. It was a party for the graduates from this online college. That's what, that's what they were That's what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, for everyone to get together and meet each other. And it just happened to be that we were going to be uh, filming them. You know, that's what I... What? That's, what, that's what we were... Yeah, that's what we're... Right, yeah. you know, and you, I guess you are have no problem taking a lie detector. Would that's, I know. have no problem with that. Okay. Uh, your agent now you have apparently so uh, again well off this yet. film and it's not a tragedy you're you're mentioned in variety this week um your name's out there it's a little bit convenient to me that you've profited off of this tragedy and i have not yet profited you had the choice of any agency you i mean you things have turned out well for you except for perhaps the loss of your girlfriend which you by the way don't seem to be mourning that much i mean maybe again you weren't just want to make a decision about which way I'm going to go. This way again? Okay, good. And then that way? Okay, this way it's going to be. So basically, whether I'm physically here or whether I'm back there, this is, this is the guy. The guy's here. Just so you know. Not there, not there. Here. You know, this area here, if, you, if I'm not there, you can just look straight there. Um, but that's it. So it's always off camera. It's a little bit like that. Right. All right. That's it. Um, you are... Now, you asked about movement. Now... You want to shift? You want to do anything? Well, I mean, do whatever just, you have I'm to do. Saying, like, yeah, what, you're you're good. You can around. shift. You you it's tight, but I can uh, a I can move with you. Like and I number go, two, like, can you can do whatever you want. It's actually sometimes cool to go out of focus. It actually looks really nice okay. for a moment. So this is really about. I, I direct, but I really like to collaborate, and it's wherever you Absolutely. think. And, and, and again, accidents are sometimes the best. Telling you, arson. I had nothing to do with arson. This was my girlfriend. You know, planned on filming this party. <laughs> Have your fingerprints all over them. What? Okay. It's reality. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. What is your goal here? You, 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 are making actually admitting. Um, you weren't trying to make a tragedy. You're telling me. Not at all. Not at all. Set to do. You certainly. But and let, let's let's pretend all that's true. Let's, let's say it's like everything at face value that you say, and, and you're saying the truth now. Uh, obviously, you realize what you have, and you realize it's valuable. But at what cost? I mean, how can you even have any satisfaction about this when? Um, thanks to your videos that uh, best moments. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat>
So, what do you think? You're an asshole. Why would you say that to me? You think you can just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? No, it's honestly disgusting. I didn't invite you to this party. I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. You're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly. don't want you here. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. You make me look like a plebeian. Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. <laughs> That's insulting. Don't even tell me that bullshit. Seriously, your daddy knows who I am. And you do too, so don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing... Look, your father knows I'm He could snap you in half, okay? Don't give me that bull. So... Just watch I your back, okay? Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? You're not friends with us anymore. So? It's cool. It's really cool. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. And I came for you. You want to be You're here. An you want to be here. Really? I'm not forgiving you. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. <laughs> no, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. I'm gonna take you on tour with me. You wanna come? You got all that money, whatever. I have my money. I'm taking a tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence, and I got in. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Don't do this <laughs> shit to me. I'm serious. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I'm serious. You're not going. Don't even fucking cry. I'm serious. <laughs> you have to cry. No, you don't. Think think about the life that we can live. I mean, we've always talked about it. I have to go. No. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, look, okay. All right, all right. When it's all said and done, Yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your... This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father. Be better than that. And I'm trying to. Okay. And now I've done something and now you don't want me to do it. My dad doesn't know that I got it. So, so you're gonna tell him? No, I, I can't tell him. Why? Art? So? Art? You, you're already, you're already <laughs> you, you think that my parents want me to go to art school? It's a joke to them. Art? Oh my god. They've seen they this would, stuff. They, they, they would rather me sit on a couch all day being fed grapes than go to art school. Art is like dirt on the bottom of their shoe. They oh, it's like art. mice in their walls, you know? They just like... They just see it as trash. Alright, They look. see it... No, but this is the problem. He can't know. Look, He look. cannot know. All I'm saying, you, you, you're so fucking concerned about your dad and all this shit, but... This is what I need to figure out. I need to figure out either you're coming with me, which I know you fucking want to come with me because you want this. I want you too. So, um, either you, you, you're going to have to fucking choose to stay in New York and do the whole art thing. Or you can go to fucking Europe with me and tour and you can do your art. And like in Europe, it's more progressive. What do you say? Please, don't... I'm not... Why am I fucking saying please? For us. After all the fuck we fucking been through, you're gonna really tell me no that you can't go. Do you know how much I put into this shit? You're the only one that I fucking care about. Are all these fucking girls? All these girls around me and shit? You're the only one I write to? I've written like, what, four songs about you? And you're gonna make me go through this process by my fucking self. You're gonna make me go to fucking Europe. You're gonna send me to fucking Europe. And while you're gonna fucking stay in New York and do what you wanna do, and not even fucking care about my needs for you, 
I want you there. I want you. I want you there. I've written letters, songs. I showed up to this bullshit ass party because I knew you would be there. That was really good. And then, go. So, what do you think? I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. No, it's honestly disgusting. Why would you say that to me? You make me look like a plebeian. Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I didn't invite you to this party. So? So? Yeah. You're not supposed to be here. You're not friends with us anymore. You're, you're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly, don't want you here. Don't even tell me that bullshit. Seriously. Look at that smile. <laughs> you know you like it. You know you like it. Don't give me that bullshit. You're, you're an asshole. I'm not. You think you can just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? Are you kidding me? And you don't even tell me where you- I have to find out where you are from the radio? That's insulting. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I don't. I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. Your daddy knows who I am. And you do too. So don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing. Look, your father knows I'm smart. He could snap you in half, okay? Look, your father, he already knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. He knows I'm smart. He's not stupid. Your father likes me. I already talked to him. We play golf. It's cool. It's really cool. So Just watch I, your back, okay? No, all I'm saying is this. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. I know that, um, whatever, you want to be at this party, and I came for you. Right? You, you want to be here. You're an asshole. You want to be here. I'm not forgiving you. I'm not just. I'm not just gonna let this go. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. Okay. Okay. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. No, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I love you. You know that. I'm serious. I'm gonna take you on tour with me. You wanna come? Leave all this bullshit, whatever. Forget about your dad. You're gonna be rich, it's cool. You already know it. You got all that money, whatever. I have my money. I'm taking a tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. Tons of French men over there, but you can't do anything to them. Because okay. you, you're my, you're my bitch. <laughs> I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence, and I got in. That's good. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Don't do this <laughs> shit to me. I'm serious. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I'm serious, you're not going. Don't, listen, don't even fucking cry. I'm serious. <laughs> you have to go. No, you don't. Think, think about the life that we can live. I mean, we've always talked about it. I have to go. No. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look. Look, okay, all right, all right. When it's all said and done, <sighs> yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. You remember? It was really cool. Don't let me sing it. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your... This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father. Be better than that. And I'm trying to. But and now I've done something and now you don't want me to do it. I'm just saying, can't you do it in Europe? <laughs> Seriously. That's, that's, that's like where the money is. You're all about money anyways, so... Don't yeah. make it seem like I'm just about money. That's you kind of are. <laughs> no, just because okay. I have it. 
Exactly. So, I mean, what what happens if we go to fucking Europe, right? And, um, I don't know, you you apply to the, to the art school there, and you, you get in, obviously you're gonna get in. Do you think I'm in. not serious? Huh? I'm serious about this. I'm just giving you another option where you can have both of what you want. You can have me and art. I know, but you're not gonna pay for my school. I'll pay for it. You don't have the money to. Please, I went platinum in like two fucking weeks. I have plenty of money. I can't ask you to do that. You don't have to, I just want you to come with Listen, me. Listen, my dad doesn't know that I got it. So, so you're gonna tell him? No, I can't tell him. Why? Are you kidding me? Art? <laughs> so? Art? You, 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 you think that my parents want me to go to art school? Dude, you already got your fucking degree in political science. So what if you decide to go to art school? Your what? Your GPA is a 3.9 or some shit? It's a joke to them. Art? Oh my god. They've seen they their would, stuff. They, they, they would they... rather me sit on a couch all day being fed grapes than go to art school. They didn't see you stuff. know, my, are you kidding me? You were acting like you hadn't even met my father. I know, but he 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 told me he was like, you know, she, you know, she's she's good. Although, yeah, he did say that. Okay, fine, I want her to be a lawyer or some shit, or take over the business. Art is like dirt on the bottom of their shoe. You know, it's like a. They appreciate art. They like m my fucking music. They no, appreciate. It's like art. mice in their walls. You know, they just like. They just see it as trash. All right. They look. see it. No, but this is the problem. He can't know. Look, he look. cannot know. All I'm saying, you, you, you're so fucking concerned about your dad and all this shit, but this is what I need to figure out. I need to figure out either you're coming with me, which I know you fucking want to come with me because you want this. I want you too. So um, either you, you, you're going to have to fucking choose to stay in New York and do the whole art thing, or you can go to fucking Europe with me and tour. And you can do your art. And like in Europe, it's more progressive. It's like, you know, it's fast forward. Like Grace Jones, she started over there with her music and stuff like that. And she's pretty big. So, I mean, what do you say? Please, don't. I'm not, why am I fucking saying please? For us. I can't. You're gonna, say, you're gonna really say that to me? After all the fuck we fucking been through, you're gonna really tell me no that you can't go. Do you know how much I put into this shit? You're the only one that I fucking care about. All these fucking girls, all these girls around me and shit. You're the only. Yeah, if you if you get a time, uh, if you have time for dinner, um, maybe you could you could hop on Google real quick and. Uh, I mean, it's no big deal. Just you know, if you, if you get a chance, I mean, you know, don't don't stress out over it, and and put in a search for a, a defense attorneys, um, maybe uh, OJ's people if they're still around. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not under arrest. Don't. I'm just. I'm just the leading suspect. Okay, like, all right. Okay. Bye. To be honest, I've been a little embarrassed about the whole, you know, Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. Um. So they. It kind of, kind of sucked. Hmm. Kind of like. Kind of felt like an ass. It's been kind of my own little world. You know, I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been kind of hanging with a new crowd. Um. Kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings, um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. Most of the cameras are the newest technology. There were some that were as small as a Tic Tac so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is this is a lot a lot to hear and I'm just I didn't I didn't know about why am I so like out of the loop? Other ones that were a little bit more obvious. Um, like the real world. 
I'm not familiar with that show, but uh, suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Was there like a control room or something with, with all the little, little videos or what? Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. How would they somehow like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where, where were the cameras? I haven't seen any cameras. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. It was just a party. I mean, it wasn't... 400 situated throughout the house. That's why so that's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. We're still trying to piece together exactly why. Like I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. Why, why, the, why the cameras? Those cameras were there, but I can tell you with millions of dollars worth of artwork and um, a beautiful house like that, uh, obviously, whoever rented this place uh, wanted to protect their investment quite a bit. This is weird, I man. I was Mr. Ascot drinking a beer or uh, a, a glass of wine? He had, you know, like a like a tall, fancy wine glass, pinky out most most of the evening. Um, she, she was like real freaked out, you know, about becoming an adult because it's a big step. It's kind of like the, the death of being a, you're not a kid anymore, we're, we're adults. And she was having a really hard time. She was just kind of freaking out. And along with the mushrooms, it was just kind of some weird combination. It's crazy. How do you know she had mushrooms? Well, she told us. You know, we were hanging out and she's like, yeah, I got some, so I got some shrooms. Did she offer you the mushrooms? She didn't offer me the mushrooms. She knows I'm not a, I'm not a mushroom guy. Yeah. Was anybody else taking the mushrooms with her? Yes. And? Um, on the mushrooms? I think, I think maybe her, her future self was on the mushrooms too. And they were like <laughs> tripping together. <laughs> so she's on the mushrooms and she's babbling on about uh, 2012 or Y2K or whatever it is that she was Two, all upset. 2012. Because you never want to do it alone. Alright. Same difference. Was anybody else there? Uh, getting upset. Yeah, there was this girl, this black girl. She was the girlfriend of the of the rockers' uh, assistant, or not assistant, but like mentor. Um, she, dude, she was like a total bitch on wheels, man. And I never knew what that meant until I met her. Think about like the bitchiest girl you've ever met times like two. What did she do that was so bitchy? Just like angry at everyone and everything, you know. They say that that girls are most girls are on the rag five days out of the month. She was like thirty days out of the month on the rag, PMS all the time. P PMS, permanent PMS, total bitch. A lot of the finger, like black girls do that, and um, they were going at it too. Well, she's valedictorian, like super duper smart. You are the weakest link, goodbye, type, type lady. She's just fine with everybody, just like every, she has beef with, you know, the whole party, every single girl. Yeah. Friend of me? Yeah. They travel in the same circles, but they don't like each other. Maybe that's, that makes a lot of sense right there. Okay. So this girl that was uh, carrying on and being difficult, did, did she get into any physical confrontations with any of the other girls there that you saw. Um, did this girl get into any fights with any of the other girls at the party? The guy with like the, like the, the scarf around with like... What? Like Fred from Scooby-Doo? What are you talking about? No, not, not... Kind of like Fred from... It's like, like a... If Fred from Scooby-Doo had a makeover. Like, what do you call it? Ass, ascot? I thought it looked pretty stupid, to be honest. I told him I liked it, but I, that was just me being polite. He was, he was there. Well, he helped me with, he talked to me about my girlfriend after she, she dumped me. You're saying you and he were getting along well? Not, not well. You know, he was kind of a dick, actually. He was kind of, 
Like if you invited me over for dinner, I don't think I'd, I'd come up with an excuse or something. Kind of like whiny about everything and, um, you know, like depressed and he didn't have anything to be depressed about. He's kind of a dick, really. I mean, I don't, I don't really care for him. I guess a little bit of a douchebag. He kind of helped me through. I didn't really have anyone else and he was kind of, kind of a shoulder to, you know, an ascot to cry on. This guy in the ascot, did you tell you his name? No, we talked. I can tell you that he won't be inviting you over to dinner. He ended up hanging himself that evening. He hung himself? That's right. With the ascot. That's crazy. Apparently he uh, is a member of the, the Rockefeller clan. You know, proved that they could uh, be a success without all the perks and uh, responsibilities and, and handouts that come with being a Rockefeller. Um, what the what the fuck, man? He killed himself. I like just talked to him. The ass, the stupid ascot, the ugly, the silly Scooby Doo ascot. Um, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem stupid anymore. He had changed his name in order to. Uh, How did he do it? Um, he went into the bathroom. He tied his ascot around the metal shower curtain. He hung, he hung himself. Uh, truth or dare, Craig? The truth. Would you marry, would you marry Angie? Would I marry Angie? <laughs> God, man, what, what kind of question is that? I think, I think, um, like the real, the real question, um, like the real question you should, like, you should be asking <gasps> is, is is um what? like would would she marry me? Like you want to do anything? Angie, you're oh you're beautiful. The last four years have been freaking Stop. the best the best four years of my life. Stop. Um will you marry me? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I kept the receipt, like if you want to like return it, like if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit. Oh, okay. Like, if your fingers grow <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't think it actually yeah. works. Yeah, okay. great. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. oh, look at wow. the diamonds and the ring thingy. And the... the ring thingy, man. Hell yeah. The ring thingy. Happy for you guys. Thank yeah. you. Congrats, Ian. We're, we're going to be like, really, we're going to do wonderful things together. We're going to be like like a powerful like Dolce and Gabbana. Or like, <laughs> like Popeye and olive oil. You know, Romeo and Juliet. Craig and Angie. Cheers. Craig and Angie. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Yeah, you know, I just figured like what like what better time we're becoming adults and I've got to do something growing up You know, I thought maybe I could grow a beard a goatee or something, but then I thought, you know, I don't look good with a beard I thought I'd just marry you instead Thanks <laughs> A thousand bucks and I'll make it a Christmas. You bet. What do you think? Give me Just I want to I want to hear what you think So you're telling me that she Accepted your proposal, then rejected yeah. you. You know, I took a shot and it didn't work out. That's life, man. You get back on the horse. Fucking sea biscuit. I'm gonna. I'm. And I looked like a fool. And then made out with another guy, and you caught her. She made a joke out of you. Shit, man. <laughs> Move on. Move on. Be happy for her. There's nothing you can do. That's that's like that's what she, that's what she wants. Kissing strange strange men with nice blue shirts. Where like where do you even get a shirt like that? I hate all my clothes. She yeah broke Tell your you. heart and and you're over it. Yeah, you know like when you think about it, I like, think I'd be like you know a mess right now. But you know I love her that much. She's great. Like you know. 
This is what she, I don't want her to be with me if she's miserable. I hope we'll be friends forever. Yeah. We can still talk on the phone and have coffee, have brunch. So, you know, she could really make, she knows her way around, you know, she's an omelet. Yes, you're. <laughs> you're an idiot. I think of all the stupid fucking people I've met tonight, you're by far the stupidest. <laughs> It's really? kind of like... You said I'm, I'm the stupidest... What? Like, what? I don't... You're a fucker. Do you not see yourself? I mean, she, in front of everyone, accepted your proposal, and then rejects you, and then makes out of it with another guy at this party. Yeah, 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 I guess, I, I guess I'm stupid. Or you don't know. You're stupid. Your scarf is stupid. I'm the smartest, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm, I'm not a loser, I'm a winner, you know? Stupid shit happens to stupid people and try to be like this sophisticated, you know, sexy guy with your fancy boots, your fancy jackets, all fancy, you know, sexy guy. But you, you do stupid things. You seem like you have stupid moments. Anything recently that you could think of maybe make me feel a little better? I mean, <laughs> you're, you're a stupid little man. I'm not the only stupid one in this room.
Your daddy knows who I am. And you do too. So don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing. Look, your father knows I'm He could snap you in half, okay? If you understand that, you understand the severity of this situation. So, don't give me that bullshit. So, Just watch uh, your back, okay? Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? You're not friends with us anymore. So, it's cool. It's really cool. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. And I came for you. You want to be You're here. An you want to be here. I'm right? not forgiving you. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. <laughs> no, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. These kids were gonna be like the next big thing had this had gone according to plan. <laughs> But they're not getting the credit, you know, that I think they are, that, that is, you know, owed to them. Mm -hmm. Had they stayed alive, they would be reaping the benefits of what's going on right now. I don't see what the big deal was. There was no problem with them being filmed. People are filmed all the time at parties or wherever it is, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. the most shy and ugly people in the world, they want to be on camera. Sure, we see them on TV all the time. Mm -hmm. When you're at a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties. this bullshit ass party because I knew you would be there. I want you there. I want you. I want you there. I'm sorry. Yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your... This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father, be better than that. And I'm trying to. Okay. And now I've done something and now you don't want me to do it. My dad doesn't know that I got it. So, so you're going to tell him? No, I can't tell him. Why? Art? So? Art? You, you're already, you're already you, think, you think that my parents want me to go to art school? It's a joke to them. Art? Oh my god. They've seen their they stuff. They, they, they would rather me sit on a couch all day being fed grapes than go to art school. Art is like dirt on the bottom of their shoe. They oh, it's like art. mice in their walls, you know? They just like... They just see it as trash. Alright, They look. see it... No, but this is the problem. He can't know. Look, he look. cannot know. All I'm saying, you, you, you're so fucking concerned about your dad and all this shit, but this is what I need to figure out. I need to figure out either you're coming with me, which I know you fucking want to come with me because 
you want this. I want you to. So, um, either you, you, you're gonna have to fucking choose to stay in New York and do the whole art thing, or you can go to fucking Europe with me and tour, and you can do your art. And like in Europe, it's more progressive. What do you say? I've written letters, songs for us. After all, the hey, scarf we off. have an announcement. Rule. What's that? What's this okay. YouTube? I just wanted to say to all of you. <laughs> I want to see what she has. Okay, I just wanted to say to all of you. I wish you luck. And uh, I know that all of you want to see uh, one day and whatever I'm already, I'm already you want, or whatever, or something like that. Shut up! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, we love you. Can you, can you all say? shut up, you motherfucker? What, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. so what I'm trying yeah, to say is, my dad touch. ordered us a limo. So tomorrow night, if you want to come with us to the city, you're welcome. To you. Get the fuck out! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have to admit, you are so you stunning in that dress. And I've yeah. never told you this outside, but you're wearing it. Yeah. 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 When my dad found out that the shoes. So basically, I know. But basically, you know, I can't join you because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm shooting and I have a video. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And plus, you know what? But you want to know something? After that, her dad was just like, all right, okay. you might have had, dude, you are absolutely missing me. With my boyfriend. I've never seen him. What? Uh, she needs a shot. Yeah. 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 Can I see that again? Oh, 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 I don't know. Put your hand back. Oh, 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 it's better. I mean, it's not. <laughs> I, I need it. You know when I do. I need a look from you. That would be natural. Yeah, everyone said you uh, I was gonna, but huh? in my mind. I yeah. Excellent. Kara, excellent. Good. Spin the bottle. Good. I would like. I would like to go to the floor. Let me see. I know. I just thought. Wait. No thanks. I cannot watch her do it anymore. Is this gonna be? Oh, no, okay. Oh, okay. So, um, I was watching one of the boys. Louder, louder. Okay, so I was watching one of the boys upstairs, and uh, I, I, I think I saw him going into the art room, and you know the art room. That, you know, of course, I know the art room. Okay, so. I think he's actually trying to steal it, but he didn't. I steal was what? Some of the paintings that are in the room, in, in, okay. in the art gallery, pretty much. Um, he picked the lock, I was watching him, and I don't know, he, I think he got nervous, and all of a sudden he just ran out. Which boy? <sighs> I, the tall one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I know I've been going to school with him for like so long, but I don't even care about him, I just, I don't know. No, 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 no. He's a friend. Of someone's here. Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Don't be worried. Alright. I'm glad you told me. Alright. We can just set them all up. I think so? Yeah. I, okay, alright, alright, alright. If we're gonna do that. Well, no, listen, what we're gonna do mm -hmm. is assemble a group of boys who can do it. Because not two, two people can't handle this job. Yeah. Well, I can help you, and I will make sure that you guys are able to do this job. Mm -hmm. But you need four. You need four people. Okay. So you find three people you can trust who you don't give a fuck about. All right. Well, and then this random dude. Okay. The four of you, I need you to gather down here and try to convince them all. Make sure it's a good idea. Don't seem like you're so into it. 
Otherwise, they'll think that you're on. Like, they'll get on to you, okay? Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and I'm, I'm basically going to tell it like it is. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to let them think that I'm taking 48%, which is <laughs> already enough. But um, what I'm actually going to do is, once you have the paintings, you have to make sure that you have the paintings. If not, you're so fucked you have no idea. Okay. And you and I will split the profit 65, 35. You'll be making way over 2.8 million dollars. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think uh, you're a little sneaky and I like the way you think. I, I, I do owe you. Tell so. me something I don't know. All right, I think we're gonna do this. Pull this off. I, I I know who he's friends with. I um, I'm just gonna you know try to get a little buddy buddy with him and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see if they open up. And I'm pretty sure we will. I uh, I'm pretty confident. We just have to make sure that you know I don't care if they get caught. You know we just gotta make sure that we you and I you know get away with this 100%. Listen, don't fuck me over. Okay. I will squash you like a bug. Okay, and all I'm saying is don't fuck me over. Mm. Okay. But I will tell you one thing, is that if when you're in the Caribbean and you have the option to take a jet or a private plane, please, 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 please take the private plane. <laughs> My advice, you don't have to take it, but I know. I'm not, like, I'm not allowed to say anything more. I'm not allowed to say anything? But I'm just swaying you that way, if you know what I mean. But really, why, why, why am I here? Why do you want me here? You, you called for me. What do I need? What do you need from me? It's like a thought. Okay. Right, you do whatever you want. Just give your thoughts. Okay. Yeah. But I will tell you one thing: is that if when you're in the Caribbean and you have the option to take a jet or a private plane, please, 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 please take the private plane. <laughs> My advice: you don't have to take it, but I know. I'm not like I'm not allowed to say anything more. Not allowed to say anything, but I'm just swaying you that way, if you know what I mean. But really, why, why, why am I here? Why do you want me here? You, you called for me. What do I need? What do you need from me? You're scared, aren't you? You are so scared. But I'm here to tell you that it's gonna be okay. Everybody is scared. Everybody is scared of something. And today, this is your fear. And I'm here to tell you that we're going to be all right. And we're going to be great. And everybody upstairs is just as afraid, if not more afraid, of everything that you're going through, too. You're not alone. This is a big part in your life. This is a huge deal in your life. And it's exciting. And it's thrilling. And it is so scary. But, I'm here to tell you that this is not the end. This is the most exciting part of your life where you get to say, Hey, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and it's going to be great. And I'm here to tell you that that's exactly what you need to do. Because we turn out great. Yeah, there's been a lot of problems. There's been a lot of issues. I'm sure you have a lot of questions that you want to know. Do we, do we ever fall in love? Do we ever have, do we ever have an affair? Do we ever wonder, did I make the right choice? It doesn't matter if you made the right choice. It, it matters if you did it 100%. And if you didn't, then it was probably the wrong choice. But if... If you want to know the secrets, if you want to know what I can do to help you, listen to this. Living is daily. It's very important. And if you don't know that, then you will run through this life knowing very little. And you'll miss a lot of stuff. So go, because I know you're going to have some questions for me. What do you want to know? Yeah, what do you want to know? Okay, all right. Lay it on me. Mm-hmm. We have two kids. Yeah. Really beautiful kids. Mm-hmm. 
We do. We fall in love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lauren.